Alright, I'm here at, uh, it should be F Street. I don't know what it's called now. It's, uh, City, City Parkway or something. Anyway, they don't want to call it F Street no more. Okay. So, anyway, um, I want to talk a little bit about, I'm going to use the word compassion. That's a bit of a strong word. But, anyway, um, it appears like the black neighborhoods, like, they're not very compassionate for poor people. Um, I think that's why you have a lot of violence. You know, you hear a lot of black on black crime. Um, and I think that's one of the main reasons. There's not enough compassion for poor people. I mean, this is one of the, it's not the place to be if you're poor in the black neighborhood because you get no compassion from the poor people. You get no more compassion for the middle class and upper class people who actually live there. So, black neighborhood is not the place to be if you're poor. You know, um, a lot of the black who actually live there, I guess they kind of gather friends, you know, and they kind of mingle and stuff like that. And, but that's not the place to be if you're poor because you you really you get no compassion there um this is like I guess some uh, memoirs or mirrors of you know some of the blacks that actually lived over here and some of the professional people now you don't see too many poor people that was up there on, on some of the, that they want to remember. You know, this is all uh, upper class black people. I think this guy, Charles Keller, I think he was uh, a doctor. I know the the dentist there in the middle with the gray beard, I forget his name. Um, Mac Williams, uh, I think that's his name, James Mac Williams. Now these are all upper class people, they're not. Yeah, um, I'm gonna try to zoom in here. This Now these are some of the entertainers here, Pearl Bailey, um, that I think entertained Probably at the Moulin Rouge. Probably they had other clubs here in town too. I don't. I, I don't know if uh, they are uh, entertaining in any of the other black clubs. Now Sammy Davis. He he was. Uh, I think he stayed over here in some of the neighborhoods. In the neighborhood over here. Okay, this is a neighborhood on. Uh, Mac Williams and H Street. This is what they call the projects or uh, um, at a ghetto. I don't know what to call it. Anyway, generally it's uh, like community uh, housing for the low income people. Um, now, this here, uh, this particular, like the projects and uh, for low income housing, this you might find some people that's very compassionate because generally, you know, these people are poor, you know. I generally think there's a misperception in, uh, I guess, the ghetto of the ghetto. I'm gonna pan back over here a little bit. That people are like um, poor people and stuff like that, but it's 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 not necessarily so. A lot of people, you know, the middle class, probably upper class, they just tend to, you know, to live over, live in a certain area.
Um, in my opinion, I think the people who actually live in the in the housing projects, they are more, I guess to use the word, go-getters, you know, they are more um, um, apt to try to uh, be more, um, I guess, economically aggressive than the generally people who actually, you know, live in some of these uh, um, uh, probably, you know, low income, I mean, excuse me, uh, middle class uh, uh, houses here. Uh, generally, people, well, you know, who, who um, generally live in some of the middle class houses here in, in this particular neighborhood, they're probably, I want to use the words complacent, but they're kind of, you know, I guess content in, in, in probably their status in, in society there as the people who, who, who live in, in, in the projects, they're more apt to, to try to move out and, and, and um, become, um, I guess, more successful. They're, they're looking to achieve a, probably a, a, a higher economic status than the that than the average person who 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 would say would be a, a nurse uh, uh, some um, I guess professional people that that live in in in, in a, a low-income area not necessarily low-income area but a predominantly black neighborhood um, but I guess they're uh, the people who live in the housing projects. Their ambitions are probably a, a lot higher than the people who actually um, live in, in the in the middle class uh, housing area. Excuse me, I don't use the word housing, but middle class houses here in, in this particular particular neighborhood.